I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to go with this video, but I've been trolling around used stores and thrift stores and dollar stores around around my area, well, forever really, but uh, I don't usually find electronic stuff there. But in the last little while, I have. Um, I mean, okay, at, at dollar stores you can always find things sort of like this, but this is one that I that I found uh, this week. It's four bucks at Dollarama, which might be a little bit more than I could get it from China, but I spotted it and I decided to grab it. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be bright enough that I can use it as a work light underneath the railroad. I can just magnet it onto some, something, um, on the, uh, on the underside and, uh, just aim it where I want. It's, it's got this you know, sort of gimbal on it that tilts it all over the place. And, uh, can you see that in there? And in the middle for a light source, it's got a little cob with some sort of a phosphory thing I think um, over top of it and if I count that correctly it looks like there's 10 little chips in there uh, and it says it runs on three AA batteries so let's toss some in and just see what it looks like I'm hoping this doesn't turn into a big Clive video I mean not that there's anything wrong with big Clive videos but he does it so much better. Why should I start ripping him off? Actually, the screwdriver is going to be useful, but first let's just toss some batteries into it and see what it looks like. See if it's even going to do what I want. So there we go. And that's actually fairly bright. Even with all the lighting that's already on here, it adds enough that you can see it on the camera. So that's kind of neat. Um, it's a little bit bluer than the white LEDs that I've got up there. Um, but for a work light, that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, oh, that's, where's the dark corner? Yeah, let's just pause and uh, take a look over the dark corner of my layout and see if this does what I want it to do. So I've just got it attached to a little spring clamp with its magnet. And this is the area where I was working a couple of weeks ago and wiring up the, uh, the train detector um, that's in my hidden staging. So let's see what happens when I turn that on. Oh, wow, yeah. That's definitely adequate to work with. And being on a clamp, or being stuck to a metal clamp, I can put it wherever I need it to be. I like that. Okay. Now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, let's tear it apart, see what's inside. I'm resisting using other people's phrases. I almost used Dave Jones's tear it apart. I almost used AVE's let's see what makes her chooch. But I don't want to copy those guys. I'm, like I said, I'm coming close enough to copying a big Clive style video that I don't I don't want to get into that bad habit. Not that there's anything wrong with those guys. I'm subscribed to all of them and I have been watching them for years. Okay, well that was easy. Wow, there's pretty much nothing there. That is. There's the entire circuit. A resistor, a LED cob, and yeah, that's kind of got that silicone-y feeling stuff on it. Let's see what that resistor is. I'm guessing it's not very big. Uh, out we zoom. Can you even see that? That is shadow, please. Boy, that's awkward. One and a half ohms, 1 1.4 ohms. So what those color bands say is 
only really two bands and a couple of dots of gold on there. Well, that's not a very exciting circuit. I guess I didn't really expect much though. Um, itty bitty resistor, cob LED, and a push on, push off, all well, tap switch kind of thing. Uh, matte silverish reflector. Uh, Okay, well that's that's cool. And for the purpose that I intended it, that's going to be just fine. That's that. Oh, duh. Okay. I'll screw that back together later. Well, that's all of like five minutes. So obviously, I don't want you guys to feel ripped off. So some of the other stuff that I've been finding in thrift stores. What's the last thing you expect to find there? I certainly didn't expect to find two breadboards there. These are kind of yellowed with a, with age. You know, like this is the one that I've had since the eighties, uh, bought at Radio Shack way back when a little adhesive back on it. These two aren't exactly the same, but they got the same kind of age yellowing. These two do match each other. They've got the same dovetails on the sides. Um, and this, is it the same dovetails as this one that I got from China? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, I got a couple of others around here that have the same dovetails on them. Actually, ah, is it the same dovetails on this one? No, those don't match. They're not in the same spots. Hmm. What else? How about on this one? Yeah, it looks like it will match that one. Um, which is another Chinese one. Okay. And those I got for a buck and a half Canadian each. Which is pretty good, actually. These are the 830 tie point ones. Um, just glancing over at eBay on my laptop here. They are going for about 257 Canadian at the moment from China. Plus, you know, three to six weeks, months waiting. Um, so I think I got a good deal. Thank you to MG, whoever you are, for donating those to the thrift store. That's good addition to my collection. And you've probably seen in a bunch of mailbags that I keep accumulating breadboards. And I'm sure more than one of you wonders why I don't just reuse them. Well, I like to keep some circuits uh, that I use over and over again um, on them. Some that I'm experimenting with. Um, this one is... If those of you with really long memories, uh, that's the Nintendo that I'm trying, or the Nintendo controller that I've got hooked up to, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, Leonardo clone, basically only the nano size version of it. I can't remember the exact name of it. Somebody can remind me in the comments or I'll throw it up and over. Uh, anyway, I'm planning on turning that into a USB device so I can play emulated uh, old NES games with the original controller, which is buried on it's, it's somewhere down here, but it's buried. You, you can go back and look for the video if you want. Um, that's just a random five, 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 because you always need that. Um, that's, uh, the 4017 and five, five, five circuit. This is thermometer. That was quite the sidetrack. Okay, that doesn't matter. So, I got that, and another trip to a thrift store, I found some of these Hammond project boxes. Uh, a couple of them don't have lids. So, Hammond 1590. So, there's three of those. Two without lids, one with lid. And one of the ones that's about half size, I got the whole bunch of them for five bucks. 
I dare you to go and look it up, uh, how much Hammond 1590 aluminum project cases go for. It's horrendous. Um, so these things are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches long by one, two, three, four and a half inches wide. This one's four and a half by four and a half. Yeah, they're used. This one came with some, some fuse holders in it and some holes in it. That's fine. That's still a hell of a score, I think. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't know when I'll use them, uh, but that's like so many of the things that are in my inventory. I will use them eventually for some project down the line. I'm sure we've all got stuff like that kicking out of shops. Do I sound like I'm justifying it? Yeah, whatever. It's, it's just so handy to have stuff ready and waiting for you when inspiration to do a project strikes. Um, let's just see what's inside this one because it looks like it's got some stuff riveted on there. I haven't even opened it up yet. Oh, it's just little threaded inserts. Are those threaded? Yeah, they're riveted in threaded inserts. They're kind of floating. I haven't seen those before. Those are kind of cool. What does that look like? A number 8 or number 10 thread or something like that on there? Actually, does that match the thread of the... No, okay. Those those are number 6, I think. Anyway, I think that's... Uh, what's the bottom line of this video? Um, keep your eyes open, I guess. You never know what you're going to find in your local thrift stores. Um, I mean... Really? Breadboards and these Hammond boxes? Could not have predicted that. I don't know. It's it's what I'm doing this week. Uh thanks for thanks for watching. Um if you have anything to tell me down in the comments down yonder, and I will talk to you later.